Hello everyone. We are going to do a what fits in the Lola crossbody from Portland Leather Goods. So if you're interested in knowing some comparisons of other brands plus what fits, then stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and you're joining me in the babe cave today and I am not on film because I wanted you, you to see this bag up close and personal. So, but first I wanted to show you the bag of the day, which I keep going to <laughs> because it is amazing. And that's the Mint and Surf Coach Morgan bag. Oh, I can't tell you. And this time I'm just using the shoulder strap. I love this bag so much <laughs> and it has a back pocket I won't get into it but yeah I'm switching out of this but I just wanted to show it to you again in all of its close-up glory amazing amazing bag now on to the subject which is the Lola crossbody <clears throat> in the color fog now, one thing I didn't notice when I originally did this video is there is no Portland Leather Goods logo on this bag anywhere. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> I kind of find that a little odd, but I'm not sure why. If you could tell me down below, let me know. I also wish they had put feet on the bottom, you know, a little extra but I do love this bag and it really holds a ton and I added some extra just to show you how much this holds and let me compare it to before we get inside I wanted to compare the Coach Dempsey carry-all to the Lola crossbody because they are very similar um, except Coach they put feet on the bottom, <laughs> which is amazing. But the size comparison, I'm gonna take off these straps for now. Okay, so here is the Dempsey carry-all. And it is a, a bit, hang on. The Dempsey is a bit longer than the Lola. Maybe like just half an inch. Um, let's compare the sides here for reference. I packed this thing full. <laughs> and here's the sides for your reference. It's about the same. Um, the height, also the same. So the difference, let me see if I can do it this way to show. See, there's the difference in just barely bigger. The Dempsey carry-all from Coach is a tad bigger than the Lola crossbody. So I wanted to bring out my lovely Coach Dempsey carry-all that is in this pebbled leather with all of the gold and the fixings compared to Portland Leather Goods, which it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that Coach puts on their bags typically not all coach bags but so anyway let me get into the Lola I dressed her up with my little Amazon charm here and it came with four or five different colors but I thought the light blue and the brown went perfect with the Lola and this is the color fog if I hadn't mentioned that already and here is a close-up of that pebbling with the blue and gray and someone's mowing or mulching right now because, you know, I'm doing a video. <laughs> but here is the little zipper pull that I need to tuck in. And here's the hardware again. And I do love this bag. I just feel like it could be, there's some added things that it could have had, but I guess for the price, and it being a raw, you know, leather inside, 
minimal cost. Um, it's a good bag. It looks like it's a good quality. I've worn it a few times. It's comfortable on the shoulder or on the crossbody strap. Um, this strap also, which this is a good plus, it has this extra strap holder leash type where it keeps that down because this leather is so soft it curls. So thank goodness for that. <laughs> Also, I was going to show you, I was going to take this one off just to see. Let's see what the Coach Rainbow Strap looks like with it. Because I didn't wear it with this, but I noticed that the, the color right here is very good and close. What do we think of this strap? If I wanted to, I could, you know, dangle the strap, but... I probably won't. I just wanted to see the comparison. And the hardware compared to this is pretty close in the color of the hardware. So I always, when I use this, I put it the phone in the big pocket up front. And this is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I love the accessibility that you can use it right there. And then we'll open her up. Uh, this one has a zipper. I think you can choose whether you want a zipper or a snap. I think you pay extra for a zipper. And it has a nice little leather pull here. Here is the overview. I packed this full just so you could see how much it can hold. <laughs> so I'm going to start right here. And this is what I'm using for my wallet or card wallet so i got this from a company that i did a collaboration with so i thought that went good with it it's gray but yeah it has the card slots and i put a bunch of cards in the back so that is my wallet i added in my coach notebook just so you could see how big this thing is and it fits the notebook the coach notebook perfectly. I love this notebook. Then I have my keys. I threw in my little coach water bottle because it fits. I threw in my sunglasses that need to be cleaned. <laughs> I got these off Timu. So obviously they're not stand for the, the real ones. I just consider this my initial for my last name. <laughs> Next is my Dooney and Burke coin case. Uh, I need to get more of these. This is amazing. But I just want you all to be aware that this plate will scratch. And there are tiny little scratches already because I keep using it. So that is a, a downfall of these little coin holders but it's to be expected when you're using it all the time and I don't think I use the front pocket <clears throat> I just put coins in here the way it's intended <laughs> and cash in the back I actually have some so I didn't change out of that this is my Amazon uh, business card holder I've got some mace and this will not open in your bag. So if you, this is from Amazon, I believe, as well. See, it, you have to lift this up in order to spray. So it won't come open. So there's my mace. And then Melissa gifted me the uh, pouch, pencil case, whatever. Like, I call this my catch-all. Um, and this one has Portland leather goods on it. So, yeah, the bag does not, but the small pouch does, and I don't know why, or... Uh, that's their little logo. This is a really pretty brown for fall, so I just have my normal stuff in there. I have contacts that I wear, breast strips. I got a new pin um, from Mary Kay. <laughs> and then hand sanitizer... This is my little perfume, uh, and I wear light blue, 
I can't think of the name of, the, <laughs> but it's light blue. And I love this stuff. It smells so good. And just Purell and my favorite, favorite lipstick, which is Breeze. I need more of it. Can't find it. But that's my catch-all. So that's a good size catch-all for this bag. And I have wet ones. And then my new Timu mirror that lights up. Let's see if I can show it without blinding anybody. Let's see. So here it is. And the power button's on the bottom. So in case it's dark, you got a light. And it has a charge where you can charge it. Just a light pink compact mirror. And in here I put my floss picks. Oh, got a receipt and a peppermint. I just got this lipstick from Dollar Tree. It is Perfectionist is the name. Let's see what color it comes out. That's the color. It's pretty color. Sometimes this color just blends in with my lip though. It doesn't show up too good. So, eh. <laughs> and I have my battery charger. And on this you just, what do you do? Press the bottom button and set 99%. This is a good little phone charger right here. And it'll shut off. <clears throat> uh, it looks like I have some receipts and some trash. Like I said, I did use it and I do like it. It's a really nice size. Here's the raw interior with the pocket. That, that's where I put my card wallet because easy access. But yeah, it's it's a nice bag. I just wish they would add a little extra. I don't know. But, you know, to keep costs down. Okay, so inside, I just saw this. There's the Portland Leather Goods tag in the corner, which you're not going to be able to see. So that's the only branding it has is the tag inside. So that's uh, my Lola crossbody. And it does fit a lot of stuff. Let me zoom out. It fits all of this stuff. And it can get heavy, but if you wanted to carry a little extra, you can in this bag. So that is my What Fits and uh, my Lola crossbody Portland leather goods. And, you know, I, I like this bag and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with my trade because I wasn't using my other bag that I traded. Uh... I don't know what I'll try to get from Portland Leather Goods again. I don't know. So we time will tell if I get one or not. Um, but for now, this will do. And I thank you all for watching. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. If you didn't know what fits in a Lola crossbody or if you did. Because it's kind of a new, a newer bag that they carry so I wanted to do this video to help you all out and see the size and again thank you again for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate all of you it's amazing growing like this and I hope to grow more and uh, do more videos for you and let me know what if you want to see any reviews or any what fits let me know down below if there's something you're wanting to see in my collection and I will do that video. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.